I don't think I've mentioned this before, but it's about the job that I do. 99% of my income comes from the work that I do that is not drawing. You'd be surprised by that, or maybe some of you aren't. It depends. I've been asked by people, what do you do as your income? Um, how do you pay your bills? Some people think that most of my income is due to my drawings and all the videos and doodles that I make and that maybe I make a commission from it or some sales, but I actually don't make that much at all. 99% of my income comes from my job that I work full time. Now, you might be wondering what that job is. Well, I'm a produce manager. I've done this for about 10 years now, and the job can be fun, but other times it can be a lot of work. It can be stressful at times. But as long as you stay ahead of everything, get all the product out, go through everything bad, you won't have as much work to do at the end of the day. If you don't go through the product that comes in, what will happen is, for example, a box of apples or oranges or grapefruit or anything else, if there's one bad one in there, then the rest of the case will rot. Let's say you have a case of tomatoes that come in, comes in, or maybe you order 10 cases. Now, if you have a tomato or two in each box that's rotten, then if you don't go through that, within a couple of days, the entire case will rot. So you have to check everything, go through all of it. There's writing orders, there's going through all the product, there's cleaning the department, there's rotation, um, culling the product, making sure you have all the signage and labels and um, labels for the proper country. Um, you've got to look at sales and see what's in season or what isn't in season. For example, this time of the year, you're going to start selling more fruits, things are going to sell more, moving into the summer, such as corn, watermelon, cantaloupe, um, mangoes. Apple sales usually slow down, I think, probably right around end of winter. Um, that's when fruit and everything starts to pick up and you sell more of that. And then October is pumpkin month. Sell a lot of pumpkins. And May, June, July, August, and a little bit of September sometimes is watermelon season. And peaches and nectarines and plums. And you've got to make displays all clean and nice. You, you've got to make sure that all the product is of good quality. If you just have bad product out, and then people aren't going to want to buy it. And then your display will just sit there and it won't sell. So then anything you have in the back room is not going to sell. And then that's going to go bad. So then if you're writing your order, you've got to make sure that everything out there is taken care of and filled first. So let's say you have a day to where you have to write your order, but you haven't filled your department and gone through anything bad. Now the problem with that is you won't know how much to order, or how much you even need if you don't fill the department. If you haven't gone through the product to find what's bad, if the shelf is full, then the problem is that if you're writing your order, and let's say you order um, two more cases of the tomatoes that are bad, and you think to yourself, well, I've got plenty. I don't need that many more. I've got, you no know, 10 cases back there. I've got another truck coming. I can, I'll be fine. I can cut back. But if you didn't go through them, and let's say 90% of each case is bad, then you run out. And then your next order, next delivery, you're short on tomatoes. So then the customers, they can't buy any. Then they're not happy. Then you lose sales. Then things don't start looking very good. There's a lot of responsibility with everything, with percentages, numbers, and profit that's involved in it, that it can be stressful at times, but once you do it for a very long time, it gets to be easy. It kind of becomes second nature, like riding a bike or driving your car. Let's say you just do something completely new, or for example, if you have to order something from a different warehouse, or they completely change the way that you write orders and all that, but... It's mostly a really hands-on job. It's very physical, and there's a lot of responsibility between signage and making sure that labels have the proper country on it so that when people, if there's a recall on anything, they know what product to recall from what country and for where, where it came from. And then you've got your ordering and going through all the product and making sure the department's clean, um, displays and signage and coordinating all the colors so that things contrast and stand out. Um, putting things um, and 
proper locations that you're merchandising it with. For example, it wouldn't make any sense to put lemons and mangoes over in the section beside your cabbage and, and jalapeno peppers. It, would, it wouldn't make any sense. So you've got to have a plan with everything. Things have got to be laid out a certain way. You've got to think about the color scheme of it. I'm thinking what's selling good and what isn't. What's in season and what isn't in season. And it's really just an ongoing process that never really ends. The only time things really sell, like slow down a lot is possibly in the winter. Um, yeah, that's actually when it does slow down quite a bit. Then the rest of the time we're pretty busy. The busiest is summertime because there's so many things that you have to cut, which is a lot more labor hours that you have to put into doing those things, such as corn and watermelon and cantaloupe um, and all the extra sales you have on all the product. And... I don't know if you ever noticed, you ever buy a banana in the winter and, and the skin of it is gray? That's because what happens is that the banana gets too cold. And when the banana gets too cold, the peel turns gray. But the problem is in the summer, if it gets too warm, it's going to ripen up too fast. They have what's called, eth I think it's called ethylene, which is something that some fruits and vegetables release that make them ripen faster. So it causes other fruits to ripen a bit faster too. But anyways, I'm going to go make some food right now and let me know what you think of this weird drawing I did with my sharpie marker well sharpie pen um, kind of an abstract entangly spaghetti looking things but yeah it, it's something I just made a doodle but anyways thank you for watching give us a like share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later thank you